Hi, everyone. Welcome to episode 16, season one of Stuttering Demystified. And in this episode, I want to talk to speech language pathologists and I want to talk to parents and I want to answer how do you start treating a child if you're not sure if they're stuttering or language is really in a developmental stage or they're truly stuttering. And I want to give you a simple process that I follow that has worked very well for years. Generally speaking, if somebody calls me and their child is only stuttering for somewhere between two to four weeks, I will schedule a parent consult that eases the parent's mind. I will talk about environmental factors that can decrease stuttering. And I will do parent education on stuttering. I will give them a chart and they can chart it for a month or two to see where it's leading. Now that's not a hard and fast rule. There are times if someone is stuttering for that time and they can't get any words out that I might intervene and start doing therapy. Number two, it's important to realize that if the therapy is done in a very positive way, more like a litcom, and it do doesn't have to be like a recipe, it could be done in a very positive way, there is no fluency therapy for a preschooler that should hurt them. I don't modify how they speak. I don't change their breathing at all. Number three, if there is stuttering in the family, there's a history of it, if I'm seeing warning signs, if I'm seeing blocking, if I'm seeing signs of awareness, if I'm seeing hesitation, if I'm seeing a child changing words, then I probably will intervene early. The way I do therapy and the way I teach others to do it and parents is everything is a positive message. So when you are giving a child a positive message, there's not much you can do wrong. If you're not sure how to do it or what you're doing, for the meantime, it's better to refer out and you can always you know, do more st stuttering therapy later on. And if you're a parent, it's really, really important to go to a specialist. About three years ago, somebody brought their four-year-old to me who had come from a therapist who was using a rubber band and they were stretching out words. And then it, if the words weren't stretched out, they would snap on their child's fingers. I almost cringed. I don't even, you know, as someone who stutters myself, this is not something I would recommend at all. So it's very, very important. After three months, this particular child had gotten down to a very mild level, was so happy speaking. And to me, to see a child happy speaking is one of the most important things ever. So I hope this episode helps you. I'd like to invite you, if you're a speech language pathologist, you are welcome to sign up for um, the preschool stuttering course, Unravel the Mystery, School Age Stuttering, the, the School Age Boot Camps. They're eligible for ASHA CE Hughes. You can always email, email me at lori, L-O-R-I, at allislandspeech.com. If you're a parent, I am here. I do consults. I do them online. My website is www.allislandspeech.com. It's really worse to wait when I get a call from a nine-year-old or a 10-year-old whose parents said they were told to wait for a year and a half. That's not what you want because then you're starting to build fear and negative emotions early on when it's very possible they could stop. So hope this episode helps you. Again, it's www.allislandspeech.com. And if you're a parent and you need any kind of coaching, don't hesitate to reach out. There's no reason to be alone, whether it be speech, stuttering, or ADHD. Have a wonderful day.